So here's a brief overview of God Slayer gameplay. It's a turnaround system, so I activate a model unit, do everything with that. Then the opponent activates a model unit, does everything with that. I then do another model or unit, the opponent does, etc. And it goes back and forth, so the game is in constant flux and the tactical situation is always changing. That keeps the game interesting for everyone. It's actions in essentially any order. So let's say I activate the priestess here. She moves once, she moves twice, she casts a spell, uses a tactic, then moves away. Her activation is now finished. Then a play would go to the opponent. Now let's say I activate this model here. I charge, make an attack, make a second attack, and then I kill the Gore Lord. The Democon is then able to move again and charge these models here and attack them. So, now, models can also use tactics. So let's say we activate the unit of Hoplites. They move twice. They use their tactic Phalanx which gives them a good defensive bonus, and they still have two action tokens left in reserve. Play now goes to the opponent, who activates this unit and charges the hoplites. This Banebird unit makes its attack against the hoplites. The hoplites, because they still have two action tokens left, can make a counterattack now. And that's basically how the combat system works. We use 2d6. I take the melee skill of the attacker, plus 2d6. And I have to then beat the defense of the opponent. If I manage to beat the defense and score a hit, then I take the power of the weapon, in this case a spear, power 3, 2d6, add it to the power, and compare that with the armor statistic of the opponent. Any points which exceed the armor statistic then count as damage against that model. Models can have more than one life point. Uh, in general, they have five to 15. So a model can easily survive one attack, but if it's a heavy attack, they could be killed with a single blow. And that's, in essence, the Godslayer combat system.